Okay, this is a new Jeff Head 1 350th scale modern naval video. In this case, what we have is a surface action group by the PLAN, the PLAN, the People's Liberation Army Navy, which in essence, that's their acronym, but it's the People's Republic of China Navy, the Communist uh, Chinese Navy. Uh, as I have shown in the past, they have now carrier groups and carrier strike groups. They have amphibious assault ships. I'm hoping to get a 3D version made of their Type 72 uh, landing ship to go with their Type 71 LPDs, which are very similar in size and function to the U.S. Navy Los Angeles, I mean, excuse me, San Antonio class LPDs. Uh, they have built six and are building two more of those. But that's not the purpose of this particular video. Here we have a surface action group, which is surface ships meant to show a strong naval presence or to engage in combat in defense of Chinese interests. The center of this group is a Type 52D Aegis-like vessel. It's similar to the Aegis class uh, uh, destroyers that the United States has. Uh, they have 64 vertical launch cells compared to 96 on the Burke class. They also, however, have a 24 cell uh, ram launcher on the back of the ship that adds 21 close in weapons. They carry a 130 millimeter gun, uh, which is just a little larger than a 5 inch gun on the US Navy. They also have a hangar, but with as with most Chinese vessels, excepting the new Type 55 large destroyers or uh, cruisers, they are larger than a Ticonderoga class cruiser, those carry uh, two helicopters. But here you have a very capable anti-air, anti-surface, anti-submarine ship. This radar complex here in back is said to be an anti-stealth radar. Apparently they have, through capture of various stealth components, uh, for example, from the Yugoslav War when the uh, one F-117 was, oops, excuse me, was uh, shot down and other uh, espionage they've done, they believe that they can notice, perhaps not lock on to, but be aware of approaching stealth aircraft, but at relatively short range. They also have two in this group, two type 054A frigates, which they have built quite a few of. We expect they're going to build over 30. I think they're at 28 right now or something like that. As you can see, they have 32 vertical launch cells up front, uh, their main gun, eight long-range anti-service or anti-shipping missiles, as well as uh, anti-submarine launchers that uh, come out of uh, openings in the side, and uh, their anti-submarine warfare helicopters. There's two of those. They're very capable ships. Uh, and very modern. Uh, the Type 052D, they're building quite a few of those. They have, in the last four years or five, built, I believe they have 16 in the water and are on their way to building quite a few more. Uh, and that is the follow-on to the Type 052C, of which they built six of, which were very similar in function, but they carried round vertical launchers, which are cold launch missiles and uh, and only 48 of them. These are more capable in the anti-air department with larger uh, phased array radars. So very capable stuff. I also have two additional ships. One is one of the four Sovremini class destroyers that they bought from Russia. 
they are now upgrading those and this is the upgraded one of the upgraded ones we expect them to upgrade all four they've added 32 vertical launch missiles instead of the single arm launcher that was carried fore and aft so that makes them much more capable in terms of anti-air they also have eight vertical launch missiles uh, which are dedicated to anti-surface and then another eight anti-surface missiles of their own variety now instead of the Russians uh, which came with the ships and so they carry 16 of those missiles two 30 millimeter close-in uh, weapons system and uh, this was basically the apex the highest uh, technology the Russians had at the end of the Cold War and the Chinese have upgraded it and made it better and then they built two of their own class of that same ship. This is the Type 052B destroyer. 16 anti-shipping missiles and the four and a half single rail launchers uh, carrying 40 missiles. We expect at some point that they may well upgrade these two ships as well uh, and add the same vertical launch type capabilities that they added to their sovereignty uh, so that they would operate the same, logistically carry the same weapons and uh, make, make life logistically easier for them. Nonetheless, both very capable, 16 and 16, that's 32 vertical launch missiles plus 16 more on these two frigates, you know, 32, that's 48. This ship here, of the 64, uh, those cells can carry vertical launch missiles, anti-submarine missiles, as well as anti-air missiles. So of the 64, you could envision them having at least eight anti-surface missiles, uh, some quad-launched anti-air missiles, maybe four to eight anti-submarine missiles, and a uh, very capable all-round ship. Plus, as I say, the 24 looks like our RAM rolling airframe missile launcher, but instead of 21, they have 24 missiles. So this is a 1,350th uh, scale Chinese surface action group. Uh, these models come from Trumpeter, mostly, but also from Bronco. The type 052D in the middle is a Bronco model. The rest are all trumpeter models, I believe. Very capable uh, grouping and something that must be respected and that our own planners must take into account uh, because the Chinese Navy is building very large and very modern and capable vessels. And all of them at this point uh, in the Western Pacific but they've also been sailing into the Mediterranean, all around Africa, uh, clear over to South America as they expand their interests in sea lines of, or sea lanes of communication. And they want to defend those, of course, if necessary. So this is Jeff Head. Thanks a lot. Be sure to take a look at my other uh, videos out there. There's quite a few. Thank you very much.